Hi, this is Dinesh from Pristine. In the previous video, we looked at exponential distribution, which has a single parameter, which is called the scale parameter, which defines the dispersion of the distribution. We now move to two parameter distribution. The two parameters being scale and shape. The additional parameter provides the flexibility to the distribution to fit to different type of data set. Therefore, unlike exponential, which has a constant skewness and kurtosis and a constant shape, these distribution can adjust their shape to fit to different type of skewness kurtosis combination and can assume different type of shapes which are observed for real life data sets. The distribution which we will study from the, this family are Weibull distribution and Gamma distribution. A Weibull distribution is nothing but a generalization of an exponential distribution. It has an additional shape parameter which as I said provides the flexibility to the distribution to assume different type of shapes. Now if the shape parameter is greater than 1 that means the failure or arrival rate increases with time. For instance, for some portfolios, the credit risk, seasoning or aging effect are very important and the portfolio loss rate increases with time. Weibull distribution fitted to such data set will result in shape parameter being greater than 1. For shape parameter equal to 1, Weibull distribution is nothing but the exponential distribution. For shape parameter less than 1, Weibull distribution becomes a heavy tail distribution. Therefore, the lesser the shape parameter as compared to 1, the more heavy tail the distribution will be. Now, in operational risk, Weibull distribution is appropriate only for those data set which has large number of small loss amount and only a few medium or large losses. It is not appropriate for data set which are very fat tailed. Usually Weibull distribution is classified as a thin tail distribution except when shape parameter is less than 1 in which case Weibull distribution is categorized as a heavy tail distribution. Let's look at a small caselet on Weibull distribution. In Bank of Japan 2007 loss data collection exercise, Weibull distribution is fitted to a particular business line using three methods. As we will see later on, there are different methods of fitting distribution to data. Prominent among these are moment matching, maximum likelihood estimation, ordinary least square. Now different methods are giving different results. What we are interested is in knowing which of the three fits will finally result in a higher OPVAR assuming the frequency data is same for the three fits. Now if frequency is same that means VAR will be guided by individual severity distribution because finally VAR is nothing but 99.9 .9 quantile of total loss distribution and total loss is a combination of frequency and distribution of individual loss severity. So if we know out of these three fits, which of the fit will result in a fatter tail distribution, we will know that that particular type of fit will result in a higher bar. So we just have to find out out of the three parameter estimates arrived at using MME, MLE and OLS, which one is a fatter tail distribution.
Now for variable distribution, the inverse function is not available in Excel. So we will use the CDF function and then we will read the 99.9th quantile of the individual loss severity distribution from the cumulative probabilities. So we use the variable function. X is nothing but the loss amount. Alpha is the shape parameter of the distribution and beta is the scale parameter. We take cumulative equal to true. We just put absolute referencing so we use dollars before the loss amount so that we can easily drag the formula. and we copy paste the formula in all the cells. Now we can see that in case of ordinary least square fit the 99.9 percent .9 is at a loss amount of 240 so 99.9% in case of OLS is at 240. 99.9% .9 in case of MLE is at 960, which is this. In case of moment matching, that is MME, the 99.99% is at a very very high loss amount. So clearly MME fit results in a much fatter tail distribution. So it is at 30,980. We can see this from the CDF chart as well. If we look at the CDF of OLS fit, the CDF reaches 100% very quickly. The CDF2 which is the CDF of MLE also reaches 100% before CDF1. However, the CDF1 which is MME CDF doesn't reach 100% even at a very high loss amount. So we can see clearly that MME fit results in a much fatter tail distribution as compared to MLE and OLS. And clearly if we use MME parameters for OPVAR estimation, the VAR numbers will be very very high using these parameter values as compared to these two. Another thing to note is the shape parameter in case of MME is 0 0.18 and as we have seen in case of variable distribution the lesser the shape parameter the fatter the tail will be. So in fact we could have simply concluded by observing the shape parameter that most likely MME will result in a higher OPVAR number because 0 0.18 will result in a fatter tail as compared to 0 0.43 and 0 0.63. Just to conclude, a Weibull distribution has two parameters, shape and scale. In a few software, scale parameter will also be known as rate parameter, which is nothing but 1 divided by scale. The shape parameter guides the shape of the distribution. If shape is equal to 1, the variable distribution looks exactly like the exponential distribution. If we increase the shape, the distribution becomes more and more symmetrical and becomes thin tail distribution. If we reduce the shape parameter to below 1, it becomes heavily skewed and with, with a high kurtosis, 
that is the distribution becomes a fat tail distribution. The scale parameter as we have already seen in case of exponential distribution which only has a scale parameter, the scale parameter does not change the shape of the distribution but it only changes the scale or dispersion of the distribution. In the next video we will look at gamma distribution which is also from the family of shape and scale distribution and then we will look at log normal distribution which is again a two parameter distribution with two parameters being location and scale. Thank you.